kind of shocked me over this weekend. When uh, Trey Lance was officially named QB3, apparently the Cowboys are like, hey, let's get us some Trey Lance. And there were other teams out there. The Minnesota Vikings have reportedly been on the phone with the 49ers. The Miami Dolphins were. Um, I believe the Giants were as well. There were teams that, that there, there was interest in Trey Lance. Ultimately, the Cowboys won the bidding war, I guess. The fourth round pick, I guess that was the best, the best that the, the 49ers could do for Trey Lance. But Jerry Jones says he sees an opportunity for Trey Lance to develop under Dak Prescott. So, 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 guys, way or no way does Trey Lance take Dak Prescott's job next season. So first things first, guys, is Trey Lance will probably not be on the active roster for the Dallas Cowboys in the 2023 NFL season. He will probably be a practice squad quarterback. Now, if some miracle happens, right, he can jump up into that number three spot over Will Gear, which I thought Will Gear did pretty good last night versus the Raiders, but we digress from that. Trey Lance could be a QB3. Over Cooper, uh, QB2, no, probably not going to happen. So, way or no way, will Trey Lance take over Dak Prescott's job eventually in Dallas? The answer to that question is no way. As Trey Lance, I think, has not gotten a fair shake in the NFL. He has eight total games played in four seasons, right? With six starts, he has just been bit by the injury bug after play after play after play, season after season after season. He he just cannot stay healthy, cannot stay on the field, hasn't gotten a fair shake. So what I think Jerry Jones has in the back of his head is that Mike McCarty is a very good quarterback coach. You can call him the quarterback whisperer, maybe, right? Putting words in people's mouths there, but definitely very, very good. So I, what I'm thinking is Jerry Jones is doing here is he is going to have a quarterback like Trey Lance on the roster because he was a number three overall pick just a couple years ago. He got him for a fourth round pick. So let's say... Trey Lance comes in next preseason, talking about 2024, and he has an excellent preseason. I'm talking like looking like a number three overall pick. That gives Jerry Jones, Stephen Jones, and the Dallas Cowboys ammunition to move him on to a team that is needing a quarterback. I mean, obviously, if Cooper Rush and Will Gear shit, shit the bet at some point, hey, we got our QB too. But if somebody comes along and offers us a third-round pick, a second-round pick, we are making them out about steel balance. Of, we're coming out on top on this trade. So do I think Dak Prescott will lose his job to Trey Lance? No. No way. I don't think that is going to happen anytime soon unless, you know, a Tony Romo thing happens, right? Meaning in, season-ending Injury, yada, yada, yada. I just, I don't, I don't see that happening. But this trade opportunity for the Dallas Cowboys has got much more.